Hey guys, Omega here with Uniquely Average Gamers, bringing you some more Titanfall gameplay. Today we're going to be talking about the Expedition DLC that's coming out in May. Respawn has teased three new maps that will be coming out, titled Swampland, Runoff, and War Games. You can check out their video, it gives you a little bit more details about those. I'm not really going to talk much about what you can learn from their video. Instead, I want to talk about some of the decisions that Respawn has been making. Um, with this DLC. One of the things that's really confusing to me is the release date. Respawn came out and they said, hey, check out these maps. You'll be able to play them in May. Not May 22nd, not May 5th, just May. Well, we're halfway through May, still can't play them. So I think that that's a little bit of a cop-out, kind of like, are you not sure when you'll be ready? Are they still being tweaked? Is it some way that you're trying to maintain hype? Because if that's the case, I don't think that's a good idea. I always get more hyped when there's a solid release date about something instead of just this vague coming soon to a theater near you. Um, I just don't really understand why that was such a big deal, why they couldn't have a hard release date because, I mean, it just doesn't make sense to me. It just I just don't get it. So about a week ago, there was a rumor um, online that said that it would come out on the 15th. Um, that was leaked through the GameStop's website. Somebody was able to get on and try and purchase that and said the DLC will be available on the 15th. That's a pretty good indication that it's the 15th. EA actually came out um, Tuesday evening or Wednesday morning, depending on your time zone, and stated that in fact it will be coming out on the 15th so that's about 48 hours from uh, official release date until release i just think that's a bad idea you don't let people plan ahead i think you're just shooting yourself in the foot don't get me wrong i love titanfall been playing a lot of it really enjoyed it but when it comes down to it the game is not being sold because it has a shit ton of content it is not being sold because it's a brand new concept. There are some things in there, yes, that are that are game changing, verticality, etc. But at the end of the day, it's a first person shooter. And the reason I think that it is selling is the hype. The advertisement campaign for Titanfall was brilliant. I think it was really good. The release window that it came out in was great because it came at a time where there was absolutely nothing to play on the Xbox One. There were things to play on the PC, but I play Xbox One, so there's that. Yeah, I just, at the end of the day, I just think that the reason it's doing as well as it's doing is the ads, the hype, the hype of it just is able to carry it. Now, the problem with hype is it burns fast and it goes out the window because there's something else coming down the pipeline. And another thing about this that I think is just another faux pas on Respawn and EA's part is that things like COD Advanced Warfare have been announced. Other games that are coming, um, E3 is just around the corner and a lot of things are starting to tease out. And really, for a while, Titanfall got really quiet and I just don't think um, unless they've decided to change their strategy and say, hey, you know, we're going to wait for Titanfall 2 to really invest heavy in this game, um, I don't know that that's a really wise decision because I think that they could um, gain some popularity and some more buzz when Titanfall 2 comes out by having a really, really solid lifetime of Titanfall. But, you know, I don't know. I just don't understand. Now, I don't work for EA or Respawn, so they they don't send me the memos from the company, so I don't know, and that's fine. But that's just my uh, opinion on that. If you're uh, playing on 360, you're going to have to wait um, until uh, June. It, there's not a final release date yet for that, even though they did come out with one for the Xbox One and the PC version. This is the first of three DLCs. They're going to cost 10 bucks separately. You can buy the season pass for 25 I'm sure you've heard all that before, but just wanted to let you know. So, along with that, um, EA and Respawn are going to be launching the third update for um, Titanfall. It's coming out on the 15th. Um, they said that it will be coming out the same day that the DLC is available, so now we know that that's the 15th. 
pretty much the things I've talked about in the previous video. They're allowing a lot more customization in the private lobbies, which is really good. I think that's going to be really important and a really popular thing. They're doing some more weapon balance things. Um, nuclear injection is getting uh, increased and dome shields are being changed. There's a lot of bugs that are being cut out. Quitters, early game quitters are going to be penalized with the loss, even if they leave before the decision has been made. Obviously, that has caused a lot of people dropping out because they're not penalized and kind of not boosting, but boosting their game uh, win rate. So you can check out their website. They've got a whole list of all the things going down for that. Let me know what you think. Was it a good idea for them to wait to tell the final release date? Leave a comment below if you have anything to share. If you enjoy the video, please like. Be sure to subscribe for much more Titanfall coming your way. Let's just put it this way. I'm excited to wall run on trees because that sounds awesome. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Under our control. Well done.